Hello everyone! Welcome to Kids Create and Read at Home with the Cuyahoga Falls Library. I'm Miss Angela and I hope all of you are ready to join me in singing our hello song. Nice to see all of you. Thank you for once again joining me. Now, for those of you who saw last week's video, you might remember that we talked about the letter A and all sorts of different things that start with the letter A. We talked about alligators and astronauts and aliens. Well, today I have a new letter that I'd like to talk about. Are you guys ready? Today's letter is the letter B, very good. B makes the b b b sound. Can you try that with me? Say b b b. Now, can anyone tell me what color this B is? That's right, it's blue. Now, what do you think? Does blue make that b b b sound? B blue. It sure does. So blue starts with the letter B, which means it's perfect that this B is blue. Now, I'm thinking of an animal that starts with the letter B. It flies around in the summer. It's yellow and black, and it makes a bzzzing noise. Can you think of the animal? That's right, it's... A bee. Wow. Can you all say hello to my friend the bee? He looks pretty happy, huh? Well, I have a song about a bee that is maybe a little bit less happy. All right. So I want you guys to sing this one with me if you know it. And I will be prompting you to do all sorts of different actions to follow along with the song. Okay. So I've got my bee friend here. And you can make a little bee with your own hand. You can kind of fly it around and go bzz, bzz, bzz. Okay? I'm bringing all my baby bumblebee. Won't my mommy be so proud of me? I'm bringing all my baby bumblebee. Ouch! He stung me. Hmm, well that wasn't very nice. Maybe he doesn't want to come home, though. Maybe he wants to play. Should we try jumping with our baby bumblebee? Let's try that. I'm jumping with my baby bumblebee. Won't my mommy be so proud of me? I'm jumping with my baby bumblebee. Ouch! He stung me. Hmm. Well, I don't think he likes jumping very much either. Maybe we should try flying. Bumblebees love to fly, right? And maybe this time you can make a bzzzing noise while you fly. I'm flying with my baby bumblebee. Won't my mommy be so proud of me? I'm flying with my baby bumblebee. Ouch! He stung me. Oh, well, I don't know about you, but I don't like getting stung by bees very much, and I'm not having very much fun, so I think this time I'm going to run from my baby bumblebee. Can you run from your bees with me? All right, get ready. We're going to go really fast. I'm running from my baby bumblebee. Won't my mommy be so proud of me? I'm running from my baby bumblebee. Ouch! He stung me. All right, quick, on the count of three, we're going to run even faster. Are you ready? One, two, three, go. Run, 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 run. I think we did it. I think we lost him. All right, can you wave goodbye to baby Bumblebee? And this time, we might have to do some ducking just in case. 
I'm waving bye to baby bumblebee. Won't my mommy be so proud of me? I'm waving bye to baby bumblebee. <gasps> Duck! He missed me. Great job, everybody. Now, something to remember about bees is really, they don't want to sting you. So if you just keep your distance, just leave them alone, they won't hurt you. They're more interested in visiting some flowers so they can make their honey, huh? So that being said, I've got another rhyme about some honeybees. So let's see, we've got a window, an apple tree, and a beehive. One little honeybee by my window flew. Soon came another, and then there were one, two. Two happy honeybees in the apple tree. One more bee came buzzing up, and then there were three. Three busy honeybees starting to explore. Another bee came to help. Go bzz, 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 bzz. And then there were four. Four laden honeybees flying to the hive. They were joined by one more bee. And then there were one, two, three, four, five. Five tired honeybees with the others mix. Now there's a swarm of them. One hundred times six. Can you make the sound that all those honeybees would be making? Say, bzz, bzz, bzz. Great job. What do you think? Does that bzz noise, does that make the b, b, b sound? You're right, it sure does. Now I'm thinking of another animal that starts with b, b, b. And this is an animal that's really big. And he's got a big growl. And he likes to sleep all winter long. Do you have any guesses as to who that might be? You're right, it's a cute little black bear. Can you hear that B sound? Say, bubba black, bubba bear. Very good. All right, well, it is winter right now, so he should probably be asleep, right? Let's see, we're gonna sing. Where is bear, where is bear? Here I am, here I am. How are you this winter? Very tired, thank you. Go to sleep. Give a yawn. <sighs> Go to sleep. What do you think, though? Should we wake him back up? Can you yell, wake up, bear, on the count of three? All right. Go one, two, three. Wake up, bear! <gasps> oh, he's awake. All right. Can we sing our song again? Where is Bear? Where is Bear? Here I am. Here I am. How are you this winter? Very tired, thank you. Go to sleep. Go to sleep. All right, I think we'll let him sleep this time. What do you think? Say shh and give a big yawn. But we'll give him one last pet on the head and he can go to sleep. All right, I've got another flannel board. And this time our flannel board is about, who does that look like? A sheep, very good, this is Sammy's sheep. And what sound does a sheep make? Can you say, ba ba? Very good. Now, what letter do you think ba starts with? That's right, it's the letter B. Now, Sammy, 
has that tickle in his nose that you get when you need to sneeze. Do you know that tickle? He says, ba, 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 but no chew. What will Sammy do? Well, he meets his friend, Ms. Hen. Sammy, she asks, why are you so sad? Sammy told her, I need to sneeze. I have the ba, but not the chew. What will I do? Clever Ms. Hen plucked out a feather. Oh, could you tickle your nose with a feather? Go tickle, 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 tickle. And she tickled Sammy's nose. Ba, ba, ba. But still no chew. So Sammy went on and he met his friend, Mr. Pig. What does Mr. Pig say? Say oink, 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 oink. Sammy asked Mr. Pig, why are you so sad? Sammy told him, I really need to sneeze. I have the ba, but not the chew. What will I do? Well, Mr. Pig thought and thought and he said, pepper always makes me sneeze. So he got out a fan and shook some pepper in front of it until it blew in Sammy's face. Ba, ba, ba! Still no chew! So Sammy kept going. He met another friend, Nanny Goat and her kid. Now, goats make a sound very similar to sheep, but this time they don't start with B, it starts with M. So, ma, ma. Sammy, why are you so sad? Nanny Goat asked. Sammy told her, I really, really need to sneeze. I have the ba, but not the chew. What will I do? Well, Nanny and her kid were really good at kicking their feet, so they kicked. And they kicked and they stomped and they made dust rise up all around Sammy's nose. <gasps> ba, ba, ba! Still no chew. The other animals saw that Sammy still needed to sneeze and they came back to help some more. Ms. Hen tickled his nose. Say tickle, 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 tickle. Mr. Pig shook some pepper. Go shake, 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 shake. And Nanny Goat and her kid kicked and kicked and kicked and kicked. <gasps> Suddenly, Sammy went ba, 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 choo! And he sneezed, such a big sneeze, that he blew all his friends away. And do you know what the animals said to Sammy? He said, tight," And that's the end. Great job listening, everybody. All right. I think we'll do one more quick song. This one is about something that is pink and sticky, and we like to chew it and blow bubbles. Hmm. Do you know what that might be? Bubble gum. Oh, I love blowing bubbles with bubble gum, but you know what? Bubble gum is, is pretty sticky, isn't it? Hmm. What if we were to pick up some bubble gum and stretch it between our fingers? Oh, do you think that would make them really sticky? I think so. So I've got the perfect song to sing about that. Sticky, sticky, sticky bubble gum, bubble gum, bubble gum. Sticky, sticky, sticky bubble gum. Sticking my hands to my shoulders. <gasps> oh, they're stuck. Quick, we're going to need to unstick it. Can you, on the count of three, yell unstick? One, two, three, unstick. Good job. All right, put them back together. Sticky, sticky, sticky bubble gum, bubble gum, bubble gum. Sticky, sticky, sticky bubble gum. Sticking my hands to my knees. 
All right, stick them to your knees. And on the count of three, we'll unstick them. One, two, three, unstick. Sticky, 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 bubble gum, bubble gum, bubble gum. Sticky, 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 bubble gum. Sticking my hands to my cheeks. Two stick up to your cheeks. One, two, three, on stick. Sticky, 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 bubble gum, bubble gum, bubble gum. Sticky, 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 bubble gum. Sticking my hands to my head. One, two, three, on stick. Great job, everybody. All right. Let's go ahead and we'll do our goodbye song. So let me see everybody's hands like this. The more we get together, 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 the more we get together, the happier we'll be. For your friends are my friends, and my friends are your friends. The more we get together, the happier we'll be. Thank you guys so much for joining me, and I hope to see you next time. Bye.